Here it is on your screen. Elena Simons for the upcoming women's 400 meter finale here at the NACAC Championships here in Freeport, Grand Bahama. Back to the high jump as the competition continues now. The bar 2.28 meters. There's a good look at the athletes. Puerto Rico's, there is the there Gabrielle Scott, lane number three. Roxana Gomez of Cuba. Seda Williams. Lane four. And the crowd's gonna go crazy right here. Shawnee Miller Weebo. In lane number five. Stephanie Ann first in Jamaica. In lane six. And next to her in lane seven. Ira Constantine of Canada. Natasha McDonald in lane eight, also of Canada. All eyes, though, will be on lane number five as the Bahamas national champion, Olympic gold medalist, world champion gold medalist, Johnny Miller-Webo in lane five. And we'll have quiet for the start here for this one. At some point, and we'll try to. <laughs> it's going to be tough. This crowd is hyped up for this one. And they are in the blocks and ready to go. Start of the women's 400 meter final. Brumfield, Scott, Gomez, Williams, they're underway. And already, Shawnee Miller Weibo off to a good start. Has made up the stagger, looking strong on the inside. Shawnee has already made up the ground on everybody else. Miller Weibo on the back stretch. Will have the lead as they make that turn into the 200 meter mark. There she is already out in front. Shawnee Miller Weibo running strong right around 27 seconds. She's gonna re in good shape as they come into the straightaway here. Shawnee Miller Weibo stretching those long legs out. A little bit of a push here on the inside. Looks like Seda Williams of Barbados trying to give her a stretch, but here comes Shawnee, kicks it into another gear. She's gonna pull away, easing up towards the finish line. A nice, easy win for Shawnee Miller Weibo. The Bahamian does not disappoint here in Grand Bahama. A comfortable victory for the Bahamian queen of the 400 meters. And there's a good luck. The flag brought to her and presented by the Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture himself, the Honorable Mario Boleg. And there is a good look at your winner, Shawnee miller -Weibo. Comfortable win there for her, 49-39. A very easy 49, sub-50 performance for Shawnee miller -Weibo. Seda Williams. Uh, Barbados is running a 4.985 for second. Stephanie Ann McPherson, 53.5, was third. And we had Calderon of Cuba finishing in 51.30 for fourth place. Natasha McDonald of Canada had fifth with 51.50. Janelle Brumfield, Canada, 51.51 in sixth, followed by Gabrielle Scott, Puerto Rico, 52.17, and Kyra Constantine of Canada in 52-2-8. What an exciting run though for Shawnee Miller-Webo. A very easy 49-4-0 here on home soil. And uh, there's a good look as she stretches out on the track. <laughs> I'm telling you, a well-earned rest for Shawnee Miller-Webo as she winds down her track season. Still got the Golden League title to, to go after, but right now it's all about this moment right here, NACAC champion. There's the crowd celebration. Happy to see this win here for Shawnee Miller-Webo. 49-39, the winning time once again. Followed by Seda Williams, also under 50 seconds at 49-85. Donald Thomas now, as we get a look at him on the runway now for his attempt, 2.28 meters. Donald Thomas. 
I think this may be his second attempt. 2.28 meters, Donald Thomas. And does not get it done. Two point two eight. There's a good look at Shawnee Miller Weibo. And again, she's had a long season, guys. Uh, you know, even though it looked like an easy win, at this stage of the year, every race takes a lot out of the legs of these athletes. It's tough to get back to the feet here. You can see they're going to bring her some ice and try to help her, to her body to cool down a bit. No easy run there for Shawnee Miller-Webo. I, I know it looked easy towards the end there, 49 seconds, but anytime you run on this 50 seconds, that was not an easy run on the ladies' side. Here is a good look at Shawnee just trying to recoup Especially here in this hot, humid conditions here in Freeport, Grand Bahama. We will try to get a word with her a little bit later on as soon as she can recover just a bit more. Meanwhile, our competition continues here in the high jump. That's Cubas and Hernandez. And he, I think, is going to bow out at 2.28. So that's his third and final attempt. Meanwhile, we have... So meanwhile, let's see how this goes down. 2.28 meters has been the closing height here so far. As Shawnee making her way slowly but surely to her feet. Lovette with Canada will be up next at 2.28. This will be his third and final attempt. Get a good look at Shawnee there, just trying to recover and get her legs back together. And here is Levat of Canada, his third and final attempt, 2.28 meters. And Levat will bow out at that height. So it's going to be up to Donald Thomas here. If he can clear here, he would be the outright winner of this high jump competition. As it is, he's currently in bronze medal spot because he did have some knockdowns at the earlier heights. So if it holds up the way it has been, if, for instance, Donald Thomas knocked the bar down here, it would be uh, Hernandez, I think, of Cuba who would win the gold, followed by Lovett with the silver, and Donald Thomas would then get the bronze. But he still has one more attempt at 2.28, and he can win the gold outright with the clearance here. Third and final chance here, 2.28 meters for Donald Thomas. Two point two eight meters has proven to be very, very tough for these competitors here. As we see Donald Thomas going through it and now trying to implore the crowd as his time starts to wind down towards his jump attempt. Donald Thomas. The Grand Bahama native hoping to get it done on home soil. And here is Donald Thomas. His third and final attempt, 2.28 meters. And Thomas just cannot get it done. And he will attain a medal. Not the goal he perhaps wanted, but Donald Thomas will medal here in Grand Bahama. 2.28 as Shawnee Miller now making her victory lap on the track. Much to the delight of this pro-Bahamian crowd here at the GB Sports Complex.